Welcome back to another Dogs Bend Model Railway review. Today we are looking at the U50 class type locomotive. These locos were built from October 63 until oh, 1965. These these like the the locom these locomotives are used by Southern Pacific and Union Pacific locomotive railways. These were extraordinarily large for diesels. They were six, 63 feet long, and they're 15 feet high. Their power output was 5,000 horsepower. Um, all have been scrapped. The last to go went on the 28th of the 12th. 1978. So on the, on the locomotive now we have a little history fact check. The box, uh, let's put it this way. It's a it's a good looking box, but I do prefer when you've got a got the the detail on the box, like as you see on the Aussie stuff. But it's not standard in the US. Today we're looking at the Southern Pacific. Um. Locomotive 9950 and the recommend, recommend, recommended re retail price of $257. This, I borrowed this locomotive from a friend because I'm not really into US stuff. But yeah, this so shows you how big the locomotive is. Like, quite literally, it does not fit in the frame. So, anyway, to open the locomotive, you, you pull the top of the box off. Same with the foam. You, ha you have the information, a nice historical read up on the locomotive, a, a, a exploded part diagram shows all the parts. And apparently, these, these are made on the chassis of the gas turbines when they were withdrawn from service by the Union Pacific. And the warranty sheet. Get this big thing out. What's interesting about this, this type of locomotive compared to other other types of locomotives, it's a bow 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 bow. In other words, instead of what would have been a coke a coco or it's just a bow 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 bow. It runs on four four sets of four trucks. But only the inside trucks on this locomotive are powered, the dry power, but it's all will pick up. So you should not have any problems with dirty track. It's really heavy. Uh, quite literally, I would not recommend holding this with one hand if you can help it. You've got see-through grills, metal metal ladders, and railings, uh, articulated uh, bogies, which probably for size of this locomotive is important to be able to swing out that far. Not sure what the minimum minimum radius curve on this locomotive is. You've got a brake brake wheel detail, uh, loco step through, so you can walk from locomotive to locomotive. Free, you, uh, Southern Pacific owned free this type of locomotive. They, they're the last people to operate them. I'm not sure if you can see that detail in there, but there's looks like some sort of um, motor part, maybe a radiator. All I mean is the detail and the weight. This would be quite literally able to pull anything. Pretty sure that fuel tank's die cast metal. You got, oh yeah, I see what they are, because um this, th these locomotives were the equivalent of two U twenty fives. There's two engines in here, one at that end, one at that end. So those are the radiators for both engines. Ugh. There's no, there's a detailed cab, but there's no crew in the cab. But that's neither here or there. 
Um, by the looks of it, it's the Fern Standard Coupler. Uh, detailed or front snowplow with air, air hoses. My arm is killing me already. And looks like this Loco is, um, uh, it's D DC, but I'm pretty sure it can be DCC'd in sound as it's a sound ready locomotive and you've got a front st step there um, you've got operating lights and marker li operating headlights and marker lights and it by looks at maybe a ditch light up top or Mars light wh whatever it is I'm not really up to my terminology on American locomotives the roof detail hang on just I just don't want to drop it if I don't want to be I don't want to you have to t tell my mate I damaged one of his locomotives. The roof, yeah, as you can see, you got two radiators at each end, two exhausts, two everything. So there's definitely two motors in this locomotive. I think from my history, quick history read up on this like class locomotive, they are produced when Union Pacific was with, withdrawing their um, gas turbines, so they needed to have more power more heavy powered locomotives. Um, they were produced around the same time as the DDXs or the DD40X or whatever it is which they, um, they are also a very large locomotive. I think they are they run on two eight wheel bogies. So the equivalent same amount of wheels. But yeah all I can say is this locomotive and the weight has blown me away. I wish I had a scale so I could actually scale it off and find out exactly how much it weighs. It's making my arm sore just holding it. I might see if I can do a review on the um, uh, Union Pacific paint job and the gas turbines. But again, I've, I've got to borrow them from a friend and it's up to him if I can get my hands on them. The bottom detail. <clears throat> Not much really to see. No micro switches. Sounds of fern quality all throughout. A fern is a is a great American ma manufacturer. Uh, their stuff rarely goes wrong, and when it does, it's easy to fix. And that that's what we like: easy to fix locomotives. Not locomotives if you pull apart, they break. I'm hopefully I'll hopefully do some um. Get some running footage of this next time when I give it back to my mate and we can run around his layout. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Like, comment and subscribe.